There's a new warning about a rapidly growing phone scam this morning. Criminals are calling you pretending to be from the Social Security Administration. That'll get your attention. The Federal Trade Commission says they want your Social Security number and they want your money, too. The scheme has already cost consumers millions of dollars. Anna Werner is here to show us why the callers seem so genuine. Anna, good morning. Good morning. Well, this new scam has tricked consumers out of $19 million in the past year. Compare that to the similar IRS phone scam that netted the fraudsters $17 million in its peak year. So scammers are using authentic looking caller ID to dupe their victims. The scam starts with a phone call. This call is regarding to your social security number. We found some fraudulent activities under your name. Wayne Chertoff got a call from a woman. He only picked up because his caller ID told him the Social Security Administration was calling. She said that my Social Security number, someone was using my name and Social Security number to send thousands of dollars to Mexico and Colombia. And that I had four different bank accounts in Texas. I said, I've never been to Texas in my entire life. And she says, well, you have an arrest warrant out there. To get rid of the warrant, he followed her instructions, buying $1,400 worth of Google Play cards at this drugstore, then giving the numbers off the back of the cards to the scammers over the phone. She told him he'd get the money back. He never did. Monica Vaca is with the FTC. They make you feel like you're in trouble and you've got to do something about it. Some 76,000 people have complained to the Federal Trade Commission about the scam, about 36,000 of them in the past two months. People have their guard down um, and they're more likely to believe that it is in fact the Social Security Administration that's calling when in fact of course it's not. It's a scammer. Okay, so the FTC wants people to know the Social Security Administration will never threaten to cancel your benefits. It'll never tell you to wire money, send cash, put money on gift cards. The FTC says if someone calls asking you to do those things, it's a scammer every time. But isn't caller ID supposed to help you in a situation like this? Yeah, so believe it or not, that's true. And the FTC is now saying don't trust your caller ID. Wow, so the first scam is to the yeah. caller ID company. Yeah. Well, you Reassuring know, that. Well, so they're saying that in the future, they'll be able to call you and it'll say mom and you'll pick up and it won't be your mom, which is. Is that you, mom? <laughs> That's a good reason to avoid. <laughs> no, mom, I love you, mom. Changed. I don't know. <laughs> Anna, I'm this, so masculine now. This has not been comforting, Anna, but it was always good to see you at the table. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.